This video was made to review and criticize the material in it and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the show in this video. Please support HBO by watching the full episode and show on HBO or any other platform that legally streams it. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, criticize and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher, today we're watching episode 4 of the 4th season. But before we begin, please don't leave any spoilers in the comment section. I'd greatly appreciate that. And most importantly, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the content. I'd really appreciate that. So, it has been revealed that Baelish had a major role in the poisoning of Joffrey. But is there more to that story? Was someone else also involved? I feel like everything hasn't been uncovered yet. The question I ask myself is what Baelish's motive was. What is he trying to accomplish by getting rid of Joffrey? Has that much actually changed in the capital now? I'm not sure about that. The next king is still a Lannister and the same people that had the power still do. And it will probably be easier for them now that a more gentle person has the title of the king, someone more easy to influence. I'm still very interested in the politics of all of this and how things will change now, if they even do. And let's not forget, Baelish now has Sansa. What does that mean? That he has the key to the north? Sure, but I don't think he can reveal it, as it would make it quite obvious that he was involved somehow. Would be very interesting to follow his plan. I'm sure it's a pretty spectacular one, but the event I'm most looking forward to is Tyrion's trial obviously. Can't wait for that. Everyone is against him, at least all the people with power. I wonder if anyone's actually brave enough to stand up for him. Jaime maybe? And will Oberyn have a key role? I think he might. Tywin's move can backfire, and I wouldn't be that surprised if it did. Well, let's watch the episode now. Fire. My name. Grey Worm. Grey Worm. So he's trying to learn common. Does this mean that he will have a greater role in the story? If he's supposed to learn common, that would actually be nice. Perhaps one day you will return to the Summer Isles. I don't want to return. So what do you want? Kill the master. Okay, is that your goal? Okay, infiltrating as slaves, starting the revolution. Having a conference? I feel their concern. It's very valid. They need some great help. And is this the help? Another good point. We have the weapons. Alright then, let's try. And we have dragons on our side. Have you mentioned them? I would. You have to take it. Exactly. Are we about to start the revolution? Oops, time to run. Nope, nowhere to go. Have they succeeded? Or are these her people from before? Nope. Looks like they succeeded. No surprises here. How many children did the great masters nail to mileposts? 163, Kelly C. So what's on your mind? An eye for an eye? Is that how we do things? Sometimes it is better to answer injustice with mercy. And that's something I agree with. Justice with justice. Not that. And you ask me what my problem with her is. She is no true revolutionary. Let's be clear about that. On this path, she is bound to fail. Arrogant leadership. She feels invincible. But one day, someone greater than her might appear. And that person might want to have his or her justice. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. He's getting on Jamie's nerves. Jamie, you just you just have to get used to Bron. Just relax. Nah. You wanna know for sure, why don't you ask him? Good point. You should go and talk to him. He wanted to talk to you. Your brother ever tell you how I came into his service? Stood for him in his trial by combat at the Eyrie. You were his first choice. Oh, that's right. We remember that. You're gonna fight for him now. I love Bron asking 
him that question. Did you do it? Nope, he did not do it. Come on. You're really asking if I killed your son? You're really asking if I'd kill my brother? What a complicated situation. I told you never find Sansa Stark. Sansa couldn't have done this. She had more reason than anyone in the Seven Kingdoms. Well, she wasn't that type of person. Speaking of Sansa, here we are. Where are you guys going? To Baelish's place? And what then? I'm getting married to your aunt Lysa. Yeah. She's waiting for us at the Eyrie. You'll be safe there. Will you? I'm not sure about that. Baelish looks a bit too smug. He's got something up his sleeve. I know it was you. I know you helped me with this conspiracy. This is very interesting. Was he actually... Then perhaps it was your husband. No. We know that it wasn't Tyrion. Or that's just how I feel about it. He wasn't involved in Joffrey's death, but you were. Do you remember that lovely necklace Dantas gave you? I don't suppose you noticed that a stone was missing after the feast. What? I don't understand. The Lannisters gave you wealth, power. Joffrey made you the Lord of Harrenhal. Yeah, that's why I'm quite confused about it. I always keep your foes confused. Well, he's keeping me confused. He truly is chaos. I don't know what to believe right now. Vicious boy with a crown on his head. He's not a reliable ally. I share that sentiment. My new friends are predictable. Very reasonable people. As for what happened to Joffrey, well, that was something my new friends wanted very badly. You're speaking of your new friends. Are these people your new friends? Leaving me alone here with these... The Tyrells. So did the Tyrells actually want to get rid of Joffrey? Just to get the easier Tommen. That would actually be a very clever plan. I don't know what to believe right now. We'll have to wait and see. Baelish did meet with the Tyrells. And he did talk to Marjorie. I remember that. So these might be his new friends. And they all decided to get rid of Joffrey. Just so they could bring the easier Tommen into the family. He would certainly be easier to manipulate. And we know that Marjorie is good at that. You need to act quickly. Cersei may be vicious, but she's not stupid. She'll turn the boy against you as soon as she can. Luckily for you, the Queen Regent is rather distracted at the moment. Accusing her brother of his murder, which he didn't commit. Well, he could have done. I could have done, but he didn't. You don't <laughs> know your mother. But I do know. Because I was involved. And I'd let you marry that beast, do you? Here we have it. So Marjorie wasn't in on that. I knew her look was kind of suspicious during that wedding as, she as if she was waiting for something to happen. Man. Well, that was great. Wait, isn't this Bolton's dude? The guy who cut Jamie's hand off? I might be mistaken. No, it looks like him. What do you think you're doing? The Boltons wanted to go after Snow. Man, so much going on in this episode. This is great. But it's hard to keep up. Because I need to think about stuff. And I need to read the dialogue. Give me an excuse. You just want that. I really hope the wildlings get him. And I hope it's that cannibal dude. I won't even feel sorry for him. Let the mutineers take care of Snow. Or you might be taking orders from him the rest of your life. Well, that might be true. Jon Snow is being very reliable right now. Look at him. He just wants to get an opportunity to get to John. Name's Locke. Don't shake his hand. You should shake his hand. I promise you Tommy's safe. The way you protected Joffrey. Well, I was speaking about her blaming Jamie in the last episode. It started in this episode. Since that great cow brought you back to the capital. Great cow, what are you talking about? Don't call her that. I swore by all the gods that if her daughters were alive, I'd return them to her. So if I told you to leave the capital right now and find Sansa, would you do it? Would you? I know you went to see Tyrion, and... It wasn't him. Didn't do it, Cersei. Be rational for a moment. He'd kill us all if he could. Nope. Everyone is not like you. I want four men at Tommen's door day and night. Well, okay, I'll You're give you five then. Commander. Is that the relationship we have right now? Lord Commander, nothing more. Things have turned quickly, as they do for unstable people. Who's sneaking around? I don't want, want anything to happen to this boy. Marjorie's being sneaky. Word has it, I'm to be your bride. 
Well, that's a bit awkward. What's the age gap here? He looks quite young. But if my mother it can be our secret. You're playing with fire. Everyone is playing with fire in the show. Just calm down for a bit. Play it smart. This might be smart. But very bold. Go. Yeah, you should. May I come and visit you again? I really hope this kid, kid will survive. He seems like a nice person. She's treating him like a little bro. I've been enjoying this episode. A lot of progression. Catching up with many characters. Learning more. Great info. Balloon still. Hmm. It's yours. These two would be a better couple, I think. You use them to defend Ned Stark's daughter. But there's still a chance to find Sansa and get her somewhere safe. Got something else for you. What's up? That's some nice armor. Looks pretty cool. I'll find her for Lady Catelyn. And for you. I think she has fallen for Jamie. I have one more gift. I don't need a squire. Oh. Podrick. Brienne Squire. Four great characters in one scene. Is Can it get better? Names. Any ideas? Oathkeeper. He's like, uh, I'm traumatized by that word. Goodbye, Brian. Don't cry. She looked sad. Was he also starting to like her? I hope you will meet again. Life is short. Especially in that world. So you never know. Remember when Theon said goodbye to Rose? They didn't get to see each other again. Here he is again. You think Bran might have found no. Let's hope he hasn't found Craster's place. He borrowed Craster's key. What about it? Sanctioners. Volunteers only. They are betting on him dying out there. I don't think it will go that way though. Brothers. Let's see who volunteers. I don't think we'll have many volunteers. Go and be on the wall to crash this keep. Who wants to join me? The mutineers hold up there. I'm asking for volunteers to come with me. Volunteers, well, I bet Locke will go. That will be an opportunity to get rid of John. Tonight's watch are truly brothers, then Lord Commander Mormon was our father. He deserved far better. All we can give him now. It's justice. That's a great speech. Will it work though? I doubt it. I'm glad you're going. You should also go, Pip. True friends, true brothers. Now we're just waiting for luck. Oh, that was unexpected. Are you surprised? I am. I knew it. He wouldn't miss that opportunity. We've got trouble on our hands. Here they are. The traitors. Drinking wine from the skull of Gior. Fucking Mormon. Are you kidding me? Look how many they are. John needs more men. What the fuck is that? Lester's <laughs> last child. A boy. What am I supposed to do with him? Give him to that monster. The dude. Sam. Ended. Will there come another one? He offered them to the gods. I don't think this guy is a believer. Give the walkers what they want. Do you know where to go? Rust is headed that way. Isn't this what you wanted, Rust? Now you're stuck. With a bunch of crazy dudes. Poor baby. People are stupid. Oh, they have the wolf. No. I really hate those guys. All of them. The baby. Yes, it is. I'm going out there. How? Oh. That's right. <laughs> I always forget. Oh. It's summer, he's hurt. They've caught him in a trap. Man. That's not good. They know him too much. No, don't trust them. They might have been night's watch once, not anymore. Her instincts are good. We need to go now. Yes. Not leaving without summer. Well, go and save them somehow. During the night, maybe. If I'm not back soon, we'll meet at Well. Are you serious? Not your business, but I should probably tell you if I want to live. I bought an hostage. That's valuable. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with him? Come here. What's happening to him? A Brandon Stark of Winterfell. 
This is not good, not good at all. John and his boys better hurry. Oh, he took that kid. I wonder what they are doing to those babies. Icehenge, don't tell me they are sacrificing babies. What are we looking at here? Someone is approaching. Who the hell is that? Well, it looks like someone scary. Poor baby. What did he do? What did he do? The eyes turn blue. Man, that was... Scary. Another mystery added to the story. Well... I think it was time for that. This was an amazing episode. I enjoyed every part of it, from the beginning to the ending pretty much. It felt like it contained more than usual, and everything we got was very juicy. Let's call it that. The main thing we learned was the Tyrell's involvement in the poisoning of Joffrey, or more specifically Lady Olena's involvement and role in all of that. Baelish has some very powerful and intelligent new friends. A new superpower is forming, and I love it for the story. They should not be underestimated. It was a brilliantly executed plan by all the involved. I do feel a bit sorry for innocent Tommen. He does seem like a very sweet child. I hope nothing bad happens to him, but as we know, Bad things usually happen to good people in this show. And Marjorie is becoming even sneakier. She really wants to be queen. Something tells me that we haven't seen her true colors. There was a lot of focus on the events up north. John and the volunteers need to hurry. Cause that creep and his gang of misfits are causing a lot of trouble. And mostly, I fear for Bran and his friends. Poor Hodor. They better not cause some serious damage or kill him. But what the hell was that ending? Who was that figure? And those other ones in the background. They seemed quite organized and supernatural. Are they maybe the true bosses of the walkers? And what are their powers? Cause he did something to that baby. We saw that very clearly. I guess I'll find out someday. I like the added mystery though. Things are revealed slowly. Now, let's just mention some of the characters quickly. Cersei needs to cool down somehow. She isn't acting very cleverly right now. I understand how she feels, but she's targeting the wrong people. I'm not mad about it. Just for her own sake, if she wants to live and progress. Her anger and hatred is blinding her. That's all I'm saying. And Jaime is such a strange character. We often see him as a dominant person. He can do pretty much anything, right? Well, it's a bit more difficult now that he has lost one of his hands. But anyway, let's forget about that. Lately, he's been quite submissive in relation to certain characters. Pretty much every family member, even Tyrion. I do like that side of him, but I believe that he should speak his mind more often. Because he is intelligent and he is quite rational. What if Baelish and the Tyrells wanted a scapegoat? Now they have two, Tyrion and Tansa. Once again, a great plan from their side. Quite a sneaky one though. Anyway, my favorite scene was that moment between Brienne and Jaime. That was beautiful. I think they've fallen for each other, especially Brienne for Jaime. I will miss those two together. They were a great pairing. To new adventures, I guess. I'm almost giving this episode a 10 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10. Somewhere between there. Cause I personally, enjoyed it really much. A lot going on, a lot of information being revealed, new things happening, and all of that. All I want to say is that I loved it. Something that hasn't happened yet is the trial. I'm still waiting for that, impatiently. I hope it will start soon, maybe in the next episode. As you might have noticed, I can't contain myself. I really just want to jump into the trial, see how everything works. It's very intriguing. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a like if you enjoyed the content. I truly appreciate that. Take care and see you next time.